morning everybody happy monday happy monday uh so that was an interesting week for me i hope you had an interesting week i hope you had a fantastic weekend but it was an interesting week for me because i had a lot of very interesting conversations some were hard and then others were instructive uh, and and that's why i wanted to touch on something uh, as a domino effect we've spoken about accountability. I've had some great feedbacks from you guys. I really appreciate that. It helps me to figure out, you know, what I can talk about that's going to help you. So if there is anything you want to talk about or you want me to talk about, let me know so I can dig into it or give you something that I already know. So accountability is huge for me. I think it's really extremely important. It's part of one of the systems that I use. And something kept coming back up this week. Uh, I had a conversation with a friend that was really focusing on the intention of individuals when it comes to hurtful behavior or very negative income, painful outcomes for others. And his point was, you know, intention is important to me. It's like, yeah, I completely understand that. Well, impact is important to me. <laughs> so we had a difference of opinion on that one, on what was most important to each other. Um, impact is important to me because impact is about accountability. The road to hell is paved with good intentions. I like to say that in spite of the fact I am not technically religious. It is true that we can have the best intention in the world and still hurt people a lot. So in that regard, impact is important to me because it reveals you a level of accountability we need to embrace to really be able to stay part of a community. I had another conversation with a friend of mine and she was saying about how a friend of hers is struggling with um, alcohol consumption and when that person drinks they are not fun and sometimes their behavior is hurtful and, uh, and, and very antisocial. And that friend that drinks too much says, well, you have to love me for everything that I am. You have to love me for the whole me. And it's like, well, hold on to your Facebook memes here for five seconds because being able to love someone has nothing to do with validating their hurtful behavior. We can struggle all day long, but if our behavior starts hurting other people, we have an opportunity to own that. Uh, I love several individuals deeply. I love them with all my heart, but their behavior is hurtful and I am not going to warrant that by letting them know it's okay. I still love them. If they come to me, I'll tell them, I love you, but your behavior is hurting people. You need to stop doing that. Um, so it's really interesting when it comes to accountability because it gets really hard. The other story, I've got the sun coming in my face. The other story I want to share with you is that I made a mistake last week. I know, sometimes I make mistakes. Um, but I made a mistake last, last week and I made an assumption that was not true about somebody. And, and I could have gotten away with it super easy. I mean, the person I was talking to knows me really well. Uh, I knew there would be no punishment on my part. There would have been no consequences whatsoever, aside from the fact that I knew I made a mistake and I had the opportunity to own up and apologize for it. And it was really uncomfortable. I mean, I do that stuff a lot. And it was really uncomfortable for me to say, yeah, you know what, my assumption was wrong. Uh, I, I could have double checked before saying that. And, and I'm really sorry I said that. That was just not, that was not accurate. And, and I feel bad about that. That was hard. That was really hard. Uh, I was at a Tango event last Saturday. And a wonderful event. High five, Irina, you did a great job. And people kept bumping into each other. Uh, so for full disclosure in tango, it happens. Uh, that being said, when that happens, uh, we stop dancing, we turn around, we apologize, and then we keep dancing. And then we check if we didn't hurt anyone, because sometimes we get each other's with our heels. It can, people get hurt. <laughs> it's a beautiful, uh, it's a beautiful hobby, but you know, there are, there are some dangers involved. I just want to be completely clear about that. And I kept seeing people over and over and over again, bumping each other pretty hard and just not stopping, not apologizing, just making some kind of awkward face. And then they kept dancing. I was like, wow, I don't want to dance there. <laughs> so, 
it comes to me that we have become so allergic to discomfort, so allergic to it. Like the first thing we come if we're if we're going to be uncomfortable, if we experience pain of any kind, it's like how can we make it go away? Like we don't want to be in pain, we don't even want to be in discomfort of any type. And not only it's it's going to be a big block for our growth, um, because we're not gonna be able to go over that hump, but what's going to happen is that the same way that that friend that drinks too much or that tango dancer who bumps into somebody else uh, or somebody who thinks that uh, intention is more important than impact, um, we are going to create disconnect. At the end of the day, we don't want to hang out with people that can control their alcohol consumption. We don't want to dance next to somebody who's bumping into you and not taking accountability for it. And it has nothing to do with the fact that we, we don't have to ignore the fact that accidents happen. Accidents do happen. That's why there is a difference between, you know, murder and manslaughter. There is a difference. So to lesser degrees, we have the opportunity to appreciate that when we avoid taking accountability for whatever it is, we are going to create a disconnect. We are going to be separated from others. And that's my work. I want people to be able to connect in tango. I want people to be able to connect in life. And when we avoid that accountability, we are going to separate ourselves from others. Because even if we're not able to process everything, there is something that people know deep down in front of them uh, and inside of them that they have language for it or not, is that they don't want to be around you. That is that simple. Even if they are not able to verbalize it, even if they are not able to understand why, they know they don't want to be around you if your behavior is hurtful. And that's going to ruin everything. So that's a lot. Oh my God, I had all of that for you with the sun in my face. Again, time changed. Thank you. Um, so if you have any questions on that, if you have any feedback, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, again, the videos are available on YouTube. I'm available to you if you have any questions. And until next week, reach for the greatest version of yourself. You can do it. Bye-bye.